Oh, you folks can't get rid of me that easily. I'm Raven 9, this is my third strike, and this is Animated Jetfire and Jetstorm. Ready to roll out. So, since I am so old, I can actually remember when G1 originally aired. I also remember when I first saw Jetfire for the first time. Now, this was a character I thought was really cool. He wasn't a typical warrior. He was just a lost soul who got caught up into doing Starscream's dirty work. I thought there was a lot more this character could offer personality-wise, and I gravitated towards him immensely. I also found it pretty hilarious that at the time when Robotech was airing the same time as Transformers, Jetfire did double duty as a Valkyrie fighter as well as one of the Autobots. So going back a few years when Animated started rolling out toys and they said Jetfire was going to be one of them, my first thought was, Woo! So when we finally got to see prototypes for the toys online, my reaction was less than thrilled and more like, <sighs> Left with questions, I would say. Where was the gentle giant with massive firepower? Where was the Autobots resident Airbus? And who the hell is this? And why does he sound like Phil Lamar? So out was the Jetfire of old with his classical personality and backstory, and in came the new Jetfire with his youthful exuberance and Russian accent. I didn't know there was a Russian sector in Cybertron. So this was definitely a hard sell for me. I wasn't really feeling the new interpretation of the characters, or their vehicle modes, or their combined modes, or their giant robot mode. Despite my gripes with the figures, I decided to get them anyway just because they offered a lot of playability and versatility with their alternate modes. So, is it worth it? Well, Bobo seems alright. I mean, it is pretty articulate. You got the light piping, the orange flame decos on it are pretty cool. Only two problems I see here. One, no weapons. Jetfire needs weapons. I don't care what interpretation of the character there is. Weapons. Number two, printed on hands. Did we learn nothing with G1 Ironhide? The problems with Jetstorm are all the same, so I ended up painting his hands in so you could actually see them. Ugh. Mode 2, Jet Mode. So we'll give Jetstorm the honors this time and let him go first, and I gotta say, yeah, that's a pretty cool mode. Blue angel wing flames on the side, pretty sleek. I like the blue plastic at the top. Looks great, even the canopy opens. Revealing Jetstorm's head. The only thing I can see really being a problem with this mode is that if you flip down this little chest piece right here, you can clearly see Jetstorm looking up, so it kinda looks like he's in one of those really ultra painful yoga positions. Jetfire is the exact same mode as his brother. Pretty slick, same wings, made of fire and everything, same tips. Yeah, I like it. Mode 3, Combined Mode. One of the features that was advertised about the Jet Brothers was that you were able to combine them together in their vehicle mode to form a new vehicle. So, what do you get? What the fuck? Okay, seriously, I know they're brothers and they're robots and it shouldn't matter, but that is ultra creepy. I have a weird feeling fans would respond to this mode better if these were Jet Sisters instead of Jet Brothers. In fact, no. I'm, I'm never putting them in that position again. There are only three modes from now on. One of the things that always made me chuckle and think in my own head how crazy I am is that these guys actually have fists for feet, so in some way they might be related to Optimus Primal. Why does he have fists on his feet, I hear you say? Well, peace day resistance to the final mode. Here we go. Hello, now we're talking. Now this definitely is a better mode by far. I mean, just for the fact that it's the only combiner in animated, that's pretty good. However, since this is the same figure with just different head molds and slight retooling, there are some major problems with it. For instance, number one, he still has fists for feet. Oh dear. So we'll say that's problem two. Now let's move on to problem four. One, two, three, and four. So not bad. Big, bulky, and the duality look is pretty cool on it. One of the other problems I seem to be having with the character though is every time I combine it, it rejects the Jetfire head. One of the coolest things to do to the character, however, is a fatality. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's what we all look like on the inside. So yeah, Jetfire and Jetstorm end up being pretty cool. They have a lot of articulation as a side effect from being able to transform into so many different things. Articulation as a side effect? Sure, why not? I mean, they don't come with weapons, their horrible, horrible vehicle combined mode will never leave me. 
plus their weird thing with feet, hands, gorilla. The robot modes look okay. They could use some weapons. The vehicle modes are pretty slick looking. The combined robot safeguard mode, yeah, that works for me. It's just that horrible, horrible vehicle combined mode. Promise me you will never turn it into that. You must promise me. I'll wait. I got all day.